Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah and I'm a domestic cleaner Monday to Friday, including a few Saturdays. I've had a YouTube channel for about three years now. And by the weekend, it's time to get my house in order from the kitchen to the fridge, to the pantry, to the dining table, the porch, doing laundry, my bedroom, the landing, and of course, the bathroom, to decluttering the kitchen cabinets, so why don't you grab yourself a drink? I'm going to take my marvellously messy house into a nice, clean, tidy home. So let's do this. Good morning, friends! And this is how I'm feeling today. Yes, I could do with a day between Saturday and Sunday. So after doing a lot of my kitchen yesterday, which were that one, that one, those two, did the oven, did the medicine cabinet, did the utensil drawer, did the cleaning cupboard. Today it's all about getting this cupboard sorted. The lower shelf isn't too bad except I've got sweetener in the wrong place, but the top shelf needs sorting. And this little bit higgledy piggledy again, so that needs straightening up. However, I do need to, there's nothing I can do on that because that is a full straw. However, it would be nice to make it into a proper drawer. You can get kits to do it. Um, this needs sorting. Now, I have got the issue with that shelf that's bowing. I said about it yesterday. I've said it in previous videos. I have got some containers upstairs that I want to use in here. There's also the garden cupboard slash um, WD-40 uh, bits. But the main thing I want to sort out is this. Because this is where I currently keep all my Ziploc bags. And it's where I used to keep these. And then these got relocated to the top of the cupboard, which I found really hard to keep going in and out of that cupboard for and it just made no sense so I want to get those back in here however I need to relocate these somewhere else that's easy to get to them so let's have a sort out and begin by sorting out over here so first off I'm going to take down everything from that top shelf and I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee to keep me going. So I also need to refill the coffee and my sugar. So let's do this. Oh, and for the record, I am flagging today with little energy. But let's be strong and let's do this and get it done. This is where some of those tea bags, boxes are going to come falling down on me. Oh, great. Yeah, I think I need two hands and maybe the chair that's a bit taller than this step stool. And here's some nostalgia for anybody who lives in the UK. Yes, my blobby mug is up there for safekeeping. The childhood memories. Now that I have the box down, let's sort all of this out. I mean, I don't know what's actually going to be out of date and what's going to be in date. I'm sure there's going to be quite a bit out of date. Oh dear. I've managed to whittle my teas down. Actually, they, that and that are my brother's. So when he comes up, he's got tea. Um, but yeah, I managed to whittle them down. That up that way. And I have actually got some sleep ones in two of those. And then marshmallows are in that one. Um, so yeah, that's all done and organised. Put my little quick milks there so they're easy to grab and I've got an unopened stevia 
which could go there. The open stevia art, which can go there. Now, this is the cup of coffee for my neighbour when she comes because she doesn't drink decaf, which I... Right, I have also got to empty the tea out of there because that will be... I'll tell you about those in a minute. The sugar I've refilled, it was stevia, and the coffee I have refilled is decaf coffee. I'm getting rid of all my decaf teas. They are way out of date. Like, holy moly, they are out of date. So I have got to empty them out of that canister. To be honest with you, I tend to drink decaf coffee, but never mind. Um, and then I have these Belgian milk hot chocolate stirrers and unfortunately they have been forgotten about in the top of the cupboard and they are now out of date and my Horlicks drink which again was stuffed in the back of that cupboard is also out of date and it has gone into one solid lamp so that can go along with my neighbour's tea bags which, as I say, I will get her some more. As I say, this shelf didn't actually need any altering, so it was fine. I left it. So this one needs a little tidying and getting it a bit more organised. So let's do that. Top shelf isn't too bad. It's more the bottom shelf. Okay, so I've done this cabinet now. I've organised it. I've made it so I can reach my baking stuff a bit easier, the things that I use a bit more every day but yeah that looks a little bit better, the top shelf I say was fine but it's just that little bit so and I have decided that I'm going to get rid of these two old Tic Tac containers, yes I kept them because they were red, have I used them since I put them there? No, so I'm going to chuck those. Right I'm going to go off and get some lunch because one I am hungry to its 109. Yes, the clocks did go forward an hour last night. However, I am actually hungry. So let's go and get some lunch, watch um, a YouTube video, have a little break, have my cup of coffee, fold some laundry, and then get back to doing a couple more cupboards and drawers. See you later. And now it's time to tackle this. <sighs> where to begin what i have bought actually for this cupboard are some of these they are stackable so i'm going to use those in here when i say that the shelf bows the shelf really is bowing and i have asked my builder handyman if he will come and get a new shelf fitted yes yes i haven't forgotten about you i will do it and i'm still awaiting him to come and put a new shelf in this has been like this for probably about six months or so so it might be that i have to try and find another handyman that can get some wood i couldn't actually physically take this out I tried last time and I just couldn't get it out of the cupboard. So maybe I just need to find another handyman that is willing to go out their way and get a new shelf, cut it for this pipe and fix it in. So this is the top shelf, it's empty. As you can see, you can really see the bowing of this shelf. I am going to measure this and then put up a Facebook post on my local Facebook page and see if anyone out there is willing to help me. I've just got to clear out all the soaps and stuff from this shelf. You're trying to make these drawers look aesthetically pleasing, but the sponges do not fit. Oh dear. Uh, uh, just a And there you have it. There 
there you have it one clean tidy under the sink so I put some microfiber cloths in there I've got some more microfiber cloths in there I've also got some dishcloths I've got a duster and then in here I have got my pink little sponges for washing up and I've got some more magic erasers and then in here I've got a whole load of magic erasers and then there's another washing up sponge so that's looking a bit more organized and then obviously I've had a tidy up in there so it's all crammed in and you can see I've got I don't know about anybody else but have we all got a whole load of um, hand sanitizer hand sanitizers that we're not using anymore yeah I've got them over there so there's that I've left the space there for my food pod because I own a cat as you can see this shelf is really bowed so it's really hard to get that under there but that food pod does actually support that shelf because it's so bowed so that's that cupboard done I'm getting rid of out of that cupboard is some containers that I originally had sponges in they're gonna get recycled an old Biomex instructions from the top of some Biomex I chucked out ages ago don't know why that was in there but anyway that can go this dish sponge holder washing up holder thingy can't think what they're called dishmatic uh, is so grotty and discoloured now and actually I don't use it downstairs so that can go some dusters because I have far too many dusters but I will take them to the charity shop and they can have them as rags Ooh, I've got another pot and I've got that container too and yeah all done for that cupboard so let's do this drawer I still haven't worked out where I'm going to put this yet though but it definitely needs to move from here but I can't fit it in this cabinet because well I don't want to have food bags with chemicals um, so yeah that's not going to work um, I might might put them here um, I know it's an odd place but for now whilst I've got that bit of space there I'm so tempted to put my bags and stuff right there it is also right near the cooker so yeah for now I think I'll put them there until I find a proper home for them so yeah wipe the drawer out it smells really nice of Zaflora so now time to put my tea towels in there there you have it you have the drainer mats which are these two then you've got tea towels and hand towels much easier to get to again and i'll be able to change my hand towels and tea towels every single day without an issue stuff so i want to make sure that this fits there and it does so put that there does the door close without hitting yes right let's organize this this is how crazy I am small bags small bags small bags small bags like hello Hannah where's the medium bags you clearly haven't got any well it's safe to say I don't think I need to get any more small bags anytime soon okay so I've done a little bit of cheating so I put my food storage stuff there my bin bags are there and then the food caddy bags are there that works oh and then the big massive black sacks are there in fact I do need to get some smaller ones but that works now I have one empty container which my tea towels used to be in
And I'll just say, this is the last cupboard. Come on! Let's do this. And can I say, this is the last cupboard. Come on, let's do it. Let's have a quick tidy up and just organise it a little bit better. And look what was behind this. Food bag. And I have some large food and freezer bags. Well, they will be useful. And that took me about three minutes to reorganise and just sort through. So with that, that cupboard is done and this is what I'm getting rid of from that side of the cupboard. I've got some plastic bags. So I've got some more plastic bags that are clearly falling down. Look at those. Obviously I ran out of space in my main cupboard for this spray now. I don't know what's in it but I've got so many sprays I'm going to get rid of that. And then there is an old flower catalogue that can go and then there's a jiffy envelope that some seeds came in. I'm not going to show you the other side because it has my address on it. And then also there is some baking paper. So that is all going from that cupboard. And lastly, I'm going to repurpose this old wooden plant. I say it's old. This planter is very special. It actually held an African violet that came from my auntie mum that was given to my father uh, for one birthday. However, sadly, the African violet plant died and it's just been kept in my house, this box. I use as storage for putting my bottles of Zaflora in. So I'm going to repurpose this. I've lined it with some paper towels and I'm going to put my fruit in it. And every time I look at this, I will be thinking of my auntie mum, who will probably be saying, don't forget to eat your fruit, Hannah. If I put my now new fruit bowl there, it will stop me from cluttering up that area. Fingers crossed. This area still gets a little messy, but not as bad as it used to be. So, yes, I am so happy that my kitchen is done. Can I just say, it feels absolutely amazing. I know I look tired. I've done two days of cleaning the kitchen cabinets, decluttering, organising, sorting. But it feels such an amazing thing to finally have every single cabinet in this kitchen sorted. So, I still have to sort the outsides of the kitchen so like the windowsill and all along the actual worktops that still needs to be sorted and obviously everything that's on the fridge but for now I am just pleased that I've managed to declutter tidy and organize every single kitchen cabinet in this house now yes I've got a tiny tiny kitchen and yes, I probably still have far too many things, but I am just so happy to have it finally all organised and easier to get to things. So if it takes you a day, two days, even if you do one cabinet at a time or cupboard or drawer, whatever, just start. Because yesterday I didn't start until about 3.30 and actually I didn't actually want to do it and I was procrastinating big time when I mean big time I sound so I was scrolling on various sites and everything and I just didn't want to get done I just didn't want to get done I didn't want to get started I didn't actually know what I wanted to do yesterday I knew I had to declutter the kitchen but I just couldn't get myself started and I said to myself Hannah just start just start with the worst cupboard drawer whichever and so it became these two because every time I opened the cabinet a spice would fall out at me 
and sure enough I didn't quite capture it on camera because I put my phone down but yes I opened the cabinet door and a spice jar fell out on me I was like nope this just needs to be done and then I started on the next bag cabinet and then it just rolled from there and I mean I am just so happy to finally got it all done so thank you for joining me on this little journey of me trying to declutter every single kitchen cabinet and I will see you all in the next video.